Beauties, and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Pamela, and I put out beauty-related videos on Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays. If you're new, you're probably looking at me thinking like, why would I take advice from that girl? She looks busted today. I have been on YouTube long enough that I can just sort of get comfortable every now and then and show you guys my true side. This this is me every single day. The reason why I didn't have a video yesterday, I had a first interview and now I had a second interview and hopefully in about two weeks or so I will start my new job. This hobby is getting expensive and somebody's got to pay for it. Today's video is on how I do my nails. I don't know about you guys, but painting your nails is kind of like therapeutic for me. So focused on trying to get them to look perfect and pretty, you sort of just forget about everything that's going on. Like the best way to decompress. <laughs> it's like such a girl thing to say. I tend to always kind of paint my nails a nude color. I did rock that olive green for like a minute there, but for the most part, I love nude nail polish a lot. I think it just always looks classic. Your nails will always look clean. If you chip a nail, it's less um, noticeable than if you've got like a bright color or like a deeper color, you know, um, so on and so forth. Another disclaimer or whatever I guess I'll throw in is I always keep my nails short. I have for a really long time. So I'm gonna quit my babbling and without further ado, let's just get right into it. Yes. All right, so here we are. I have already trimmed and filed my nails. Um, I do not remove the cuticle because one, it hurts a lot, and two, I have found it, it's not very necessary in my case or in my nails. My cuticles are not very dry or very bad in my own personal opinion. The next thing I'm going to do, and it's something that I never ever skip, is a base coat. Base coat is going to protect your nails. It's going to ensure that the actual nail polish goes on smooth, and sandwiching your nail polish between a base coat and a top coat is just always gonna make your nail polish last longer. So the way that I like to shake my nail polish, I'll show you guys, is I don't go back and forth because I have read it creates a lot of bubbles. So what I like to do is just put it in between my hands like this and just shake like that, you know, really, really well. Make sure that the product is nice and like, you know, shaken. I definitely make sure that I clean off any of the excess nail polish here. Make sure that the um, brush or the applicator or whatever is nice and like bare. So I'll pick up a nice little bead like that and then I will just paint my nail. And I always start at the top and I sort of just bring it down. I do wipe some of the excess away if there's too much on the brush. And then I apply on that side. And then I apply on this side. I always make sure I turn my finger and get all of the little corners here. So the first application is down. I wouldn't worry about streaks or marks on the side. Um, the way we're going to correct the streaks is with our top coat. And as far as the mistakes that you make on your side, that's what this little guy is for. So, so the only trick that I have for you for painting your other hand is literally go like really, really sheer. What I like to do, since I am obviously not a lefty, is I always make sure to start in the center and move down slowly. Then I do the sides. Okay, so back to the first hand. Then I'm going to do the same method. I'm gonna go ahead and dip into the bottle, make sure that the wand or the brush is nice and clean, and pick up a small, come on, small bead. And go in for the second coat. Okay. 
Again, don't worry about it not looking so perfect or having brush strokes. The top coat is going to fix all of that. Right, so now I'm gonna go in with the top coat. And again, I really like OPI's top coat. This top coat, it'll make your nail polish last forever. So for the top coat, I make sure I pick up a pretty good size bead and um, I always start with my middle finger on this because I always get the most product when I first like take the uh, brush out. So I always start in the middle. do cap off the nail just a little bit there. The only other rule I know about nails is drying time. To make sure that your nails are fully dry where you're not gonna get any smudging or any sort of like prints on them is literally don't do anything for three hours. I always like to paint my nails at the end of the day after I've put the kids to sleep because I literally just wanna sit on the couch like this and let my nails dry completely. So paint your nails, pop in Titanic, and as soon as Titanic is over, your nails will be dry. And that's all I've got for you guys today. So hopefully you enjoyed this how I do my nails tutorial. Um, yeah, real life problems. I've already smudged one. So uh, yeah, if you liked this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and spread my love for makeup and I will see you guys next week. Bye-bye.